Hey everyone, Ray Sawbill, RaySawbill.com. In today's video, we are going to be discussing local campaigns on Google Ads and store visit conversions. These are newer campaign types that have been introduced in the past year or so, and they're really, really strong contenders for driving foot traffic to your local business. So if that's the type of campaign that you're looking to launch, make sure to follow the timestamps down below or feel free to ask some questions down in the comments. Before jumping in, I just want to mention down in the comments, there will also be a link to my digital marketing Discord server. If you're on Discord and you want to talk digital marketing, make sure to check that out. Local campaigns main purpose is to drive foot traffic to your store. And you can do this through several ways by measuring conversions through click to get directions on GMB, click to call, or through the store visit conversion, which I'll be talking about in a few minutes. Um, but a couple of call outs here is that these placements can show up on Google Maps. So if users are searching for your business or keywords related to your business, search, YouTube, display, and even on your GMB profile. There's also placement on GSP through uh, sponsored placements on Gmail. That is another option. Option, but again, the main placement here for local business is to drive customer action to your local business. Now, as long as you have a Google My Business profile, you should be able to qualify for this type of campaign. And you need to make sure that you have location extensions enabled in your account in order to run these campaign types. If you'd like a video on location extensions, please drop a comment down below and I can make sure to go into more detail there. Um, but there will be a link down below in the description on how to set up location extensions for your account. Back in old school PPC days, some of the main KPIs that you may be leveraging on Google Ads campaigns would be strictly e-com or lead gen. Now, there are introductions of offline conversions like phone call sales, or you could kind of see if there was any correlation with certain campaigns and if there was certain foot traffic that was increasing. One of the major benefits of local campaigns and some of the advancements in these campaign types is the store visit conversion. And what this conversion action does is it will actually put a different conversion action within your Google Ads account and it'll show you store visit conversions and then you can start to report on that. It essentially takes Google's data, looks at their location history, looks at where they're located, takes in like all these like um you know, all this information to determine if they've been in your area. Some of the major call outs to see if you are eligible for store visit conversions is to make sure that you're eligible by having enough foot traffic to your business. Now this is kind of vague. I've worked with clients that have 200 locations around the US and of course they have um, enough foot traffic. But I've also worked with advertisers who have you know, one or two locations, but they do get a lot of foot traffic in their store. The only way you're going to know if you are eligible for this is if you link location extensions to your account and then you should start to see a separate conversion action within Google Ads, which I will jump to right now. So if you head on into Google Ads and if you go to the Tools and Settings section and click on Conversions, if your account is eligible for having store visits, you will see a conversion action labeled store visits in here. And you can assign value to that. You can assign click through windows and view through windows. Um, for this specific example, I have a 14 day or two week click through window, one day view through window. And then I'm assigning value to this conversion based on some information from our client um, and, and kind of working through it that way. So. The value piece is going to be entirely dependent on like all the data that you have to assign relevant value to that um, transaction, I'm sorry, to this conversion. Um, so that'll be extremely important to, to keep that in mind because this is one of the conversions that you can optimize around in your local campaigns. So now that we kind of talked about like all the nitty gritty that kind of goes into local campaigns, let's dive into campaign creation so we can really go through one, two, three and how we can really set these campaigns up and get you serving on this campaign type. So just like with any Google Ads campaign, all you have to do is click on new campaign and then you can either click on the local store visits and promotions or you can create without campaign guidance. I'm going to go through this prompt here uh, for local store visits and promotions and then select local. Now you can see if I select use my business locations, it's going to be synced to my Google My Business right here. Um, or if I had some sort of affiliate um, campaigns um, and locations, that would be another selection down here. Um, and then you're also able to choose which campaigns you would like to select. So based on the different campaign groups and location groups that you have set up, I could say, um, right now I have 52 listings here that I want to target. Let's say I wanted to only target the Midwest. I can make a Midwest location group um, and that, all, that is all done through the location groups section here in the tools and settings option. Drop a comment down below if you would like some more information on that. Uh, but now if you just go to continue, you can just name this. So I'm going to name this local test 
um, languages. I'm just going to do English to start. I'll do a $1 a day. Um, but here, here's where the really important part comes. So as I mentioned before, the store visits are extremely crucial. And my recommendation is that you optimize around this metric entirely, because if you can line this metric up to, you know, 90% confidence as to what this value is to your client or to your business, you really just want to be optimizing for this because this is getting people to the door and Google optimizing for this metric specifically. Um, now, if you are not fortunate enough to have this store visit metric, that's entirely okay. You can really optimize for call clicks or people clicking driving directions. So this is people going to your GMB profile, clicking on call clicks or on driving directions, and you can kind of take it from there. And then you can assign values to that. So by default, it's assigning $1 to each action. Um, but you can also change those values by clicking on manage your conversion value. So if call clicks are more valuable to you than driving directions, you can kind of play around with that um, in the manager conversion values. Um, and then really it just becomes like about um, continuing, setting up your ad group. And then what ends up happening is let me dive over to this campaign. You then will have different ad as assets where you can select um, different images, um, call to actions and descriptions. So this will start to serve on those different placements that we talked about earlier, where they will serve on um, Google Maps, on Search, YouTube, Display, yada, 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 all those good places. Uh, but really, it just becomes about building the campaign out, which really takes, I would say, less, t less than 10 to 15 minutes um, if you're very comfortable in the Google Ads interface. It becomes very easy to, to create these campaigns, and you can begin to optimize around the sales. Now, once you have that done, you need to start having conversations with your client to ensure that they are really feeling this in-store foot traffic um, into their business. Because if, if we are increasing budgets on these campaign types and Google is reporting on store visits, but the client is not feeling that impact, that's an issue. Um, luckily, if you have that store visit value, it is very, in, in my experience, it's, it's pretty accurate. Um, it, most of the clients that I've worked with have experienced like increased foot traffic and are really able to optimize around that in-store conversion. The other really great thing about this store visit conversion is that it, it also applies to all of your other campaign types. So you're not only going to see that for your local campaigns, you're going to see that for search, shopping, YouTube, every other campaign type that you have set up. So it's just really great, really powerful. Um, and it really is a great way to tie the online and the offline to really look at blended uh, ROAS or, or cost of acquisition. Like, like there's, there's a lot of, of different things that, that you can look at there. And that's about it. I mean, setting up local campaigns is a lot different than setting up search or shopping, but it can be very powerful. Um, if you did find this video helpful, please consider subscribing or liking this video. By, by you guys liking these types of videos, it'll help me know which type of content to create and curate in the future. So I appreciate you. Thank you for watching and speak to you guys next time. Thanks. See ya.